tau overflows. Does a Buddha is affected by physical pain and other problems? Feelings like hunger, thirst, pain, anger, lust, greed, attachment, jealousy, all arise in an awakened one. But these arise only at the level of the body. You have to know there are three levels. The level of the body, which is guided by the science of the body, which is the hormones and other chemistry. The second is the level of the mind, which is guided by the psyche or manovikyan, the science of the mind. But these things that normally arise in you arises at, in an awakened one at the level of the body, the physical level. They do not touch the second layer, which is the mind. In your case, it happens at the two levels, at the level of the body and at the level of psyche. Whatsoever happens to you as a human being, all that happens to an awakened one. Then what is the difference between an awakened one and you? When anger comes in, anger grips you. When lust comes in, it grips you. You are the servant. Anger, lust, greed, they are the masters. So they manipulate you the way they can. On the contrary, the awakened one is not absorbed in it is not lost in it. You are lost in anger when anger comes in. You are lost in sex. You are lost in lust. You are lost in greed. But the awakened one is not lost into it. Negative thoughts also come to an awakened one just like you. And they can come And we can see that they come and sometimes the positive and the negative thoughts also come. But in really an awakened one lives in a realm beyond the thoughts, both negative and positive, nakaratmak or sakaratmak. He lives in his own world of blissfulness. It's like a child who is so much absorbed in his play that he forgets about everything else. If a musician is lost in the music, he will forget about everything. He, the ecstasy the bliss that is arising out of the music and is lost into it, absorbed into it. So that is his situation and because of that, the negative and the positive thoughts do not affect him in any way. It happened, the, there was a trial of Lalaji, Chachaji and Brijmohanla. Bridgemohan Lal used to play harmonium, the bellow instrument. Lalaji used to play, used to sing, and Chachaji used to play percussion instrument, tabla. So one day he was playing tabla in a rapt attention. The congregation was there. Lalaji was singing. He had a very sonorific voice very appealing voice that is touches your heart immediately. 
and Brij Mohan Lal was playing the harmonium. So all of a sudden, Chacha Ji said there is kind of a stickiness in the percussion instrument tabla. It is fingers are sticking on it. When the light was brought, his fingers got bruised in playing the tabla and because of that the blood was coming out and because of that blood on the skin of tabla there was a stickiness but he was absorbed in the singing of Lala Ji and the, the sound of the harmonium being played by Brij Mohan Lal that he forgot everything. Between in you there is a wide gap between positive and the negative thoughts in you, in an ordinary human being. Generally, the positive thoughts do not arise. Even if they arise, the interval is very wide, vast, that you do not see any connection between positive and the negative emotions. In an awakened one, the gap between the positive and negative thoughts is minimal or you can say it is almost nil. There is no gap between the two. How can you explain, understand this? You get a bout of anger towards your spouse. So, or your wife gets, spouse gets angry with you. Throughout the day, her face will be swollen. She will, you call her, she will not respond. You ask her anything, will not happen. And this will continue maybe one day, maybe another day. So there is almost a wide gap between that attack of the anger and that is negativity and the positive thought. But in case, so this is normal and you had done something or somebody had done and the next day you are going to tell the person I'm sorry. <coughs> the gap between realizing your mistake and apologizing for that is very vast. In case of an awakened one, there is no time gap, the gap between the positive and negative thoughts. Even sometimes it happens before the negative thought coming in, that is a stop there because of the awareness. And slowly and slowly a time comes in when no negative thought arises. Or even before they arise, they dissolve and disappear. This is the truth of an awakened one. And the rest um, is imagination at the level of the mind. Now the question arises, what is the difference between an awakened one and us? The di difference is the same, a person who is awake and the one who is asleep. This is the difference. But it is very uh, intense and very deep. Bud Buddha, an awakened one, is aware of the inner sky. That you are not aware of it. Whatever is happening, inner sky is free, is clear of the clouds of any kind, anger, lust, greed or anything. But you are totally unaware of the inner sky that is there. You are unaware. You have no connection with that far, far away. And the unconscious mind is so strong that the conscious mind does not get an opportunity to express itself. 
they, it is like there is intense cloud, dark clouds and because of that the light of the sun cannot penetrate through the clouds and it becomes almost impossible uh, for the sunlight to reach you. Uh, an awakened one lives in his conscious mind and he knows, he is totally aware that the very nature of man is total absolute consciousness. Body has its own limitations, mind has its own limitations. You live within the limitations. Like uh, the, you have a balloon full of gas, helium gas. You let go it in the room. It has a limitations. It cannot go beyond that. Beyond the, uh, the ceiling. It will stick in the ceiling and it will remain there until um, the gas finishes then it will fall down. On the contrary, if you release the, the balloon with the gas in it outside, it will continue to go higher and higher and higher as long as the helium gas in it can take it to. And when gas, it, its transcendence is never stopped, continues. And when it is finished, then whatsoever happens we cannot relate to because it has gone so high and when it will fall, where it will fall, nobody knows. Body has its limitations, mind has its limitations. Tan ki apni simaye hain, tan ki apni simaye hain, man ki apni simaye hain. Body has its own limitations and boundaries, mind has its own limitations and boundaries. Thoughts can come, is nothing wrong, but the consciousness is so awake that is Chetan Man Itna Viksit Ho Chuka Hai. The conscious mind is developed to such an extent that the unconscious mind gets no opportunity to play its game. Every decision that he takes, an awakened one takes, arises out of his absolute consciousness. Beyond the body and the mind, he is absorbed, dissolved in his absolute consciousness. The, when you are, the, your decision comes out of your anger. If you are angry with someone, with your child, and the child asks for something, you will act out of that anger which is unconsciousness, dark cloud. So light of the sun, the awareness will not penetrate through your decision. Your decision will be guided by your anger towards the person or lust or greed towards the person. But in an awakened one, that is not the situation, it's totally different. His all the decisions and everything arise out of his conscious mind and there is no connection. The unconscious mind or unconsciousness or dark, darkness cannot affect him or even touch him to any extent. Enough for now.